Ready? Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Ben and Ashley. Welcome to our channel if you're new. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about giving celery juice to your newborn baby that's under six months. Yeah, this was a question we had. You know, we had our son and then we were like, well, we know celery juice is good for him. We know he's dealing with some liver stuff, some strep, some other yeah, things. and I mean, can we start giving it to him? Yeah, because in the medical medium books, he lists the amount that's okay for a six-month-old. But we're like, we think we think he can have it, you know, yeah, six before months, that. Six months or older, right? Six months or yeah. older, yeah. And I've been drinking celery juice for the last almost five years now. So, you know, every day I drink 32 ounces of celery juice. And we knew that he would get that to, to some degree because I nurse him. Yeah, and if, you, if you're like new to celery juice and you're like, what's this celery juice about? Go watch our video. We did like a celery juice for beginners video. Mm -hmm. And go check that out and it will bring you up to speed on all you need to know about celery juice. Yeah. So we got the medical medium book and in the book it actually says that at six months you can give a baby one ounce. So we kind of like reverse engineered that and tried to come up with like an appropriate dosage based on His our son's age. age. Yeah, and so at this point he was seven weeks old and we thought, okay, that's almost two months, so that's like one third of six months. But we don't want to give him that much, so in a like a little bottle we just filled up maybe like a quarter of an ounce and let him have at it <laughs> and he maybe took like a few sips so it was like probably like a few drops um, but he didn't really care for it he just kind of made this face like what this is not sweet milk <laughs> um, so he kept trying that and he would you know take a little bit a little bit um, but it you know he wasn't taking as much as we felt like he should so then I'm like okay uh, let's buy a syringe a family member had suggested that and um, then we went ahead with the syringe yeah and that definitely that definitely got it in him yeah he didn't necessarily like Did it but like it. <laughs> and then we you, well you decided you came and said hey you know I just want to make sure we're doing everything we can for him yeah because he started having some really bad congestion where it was affecting him um, latching on and feeding you know because he couldn't breathe his nose was so plugged up um, and it was just it was like more than like a normal congestion that you know newborn babies have and then he was having stomach issues and he was having this really strange diaper rash and it just felt like it was all strep related and um, so I felt like we needed a little bit more guidance with the celery juice and other things to help him with that. So we, um, we booked an appointment with a medical medium practitioner um, with Meninza. If you guys don't follow her on Instagram, be sure to go check her out. She is a wealth of information, knows the medical medium information in and out. Yeah, a lot of her information is like beyond the books. like. You know, you could read all the books, but her information is different than what you'd find in the books. So, like, yeah. when we were trying to figure out stuff for infants, you know, under six months, there's really nothing in his in his books that give like dosage amounts and like what supplements we can we can have him on. And we just wanted to make sure we were doing everything we could for him and not overdosing him or anything like that. Totally. So um, we booked an appointment with her. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we booked it before he was seven weeks old because she does have a long wait time. Um, you know, these like strep symptoms started showing up around when he was like two weeks old. Um, so we booked an appointment and then we had it when he was 10 weeks old. And um, that's when she guided us on what was best for him on celery juice dosages. Yeah, Meninza has a gift 
where she can actually read people without actually having to be in the room with the person, right? So yeah, she was able to do a reading on you and uh, our son. Boy, yeah. Our son. So yeah, she had. It's um, she's an intuitive, so she has a like it's a strong intuition about people. You know, it's different than Anthony's, where Anthony's, you know, he's hearing the words from Spirit of Compassion and doing like, these full body scans. She just gets a really strong feeling when she's talking to people and can sense what their health issues are, what supplement dosages are good for them, what you know, celery juice amounts are good for them, what they're sensitive to, things like that. So um, these dosages are very specific to our boy, but we felt like it would be good to share with you guys as a guide and so you know that yes, you can, you can give it, it's possible to give it to a baby under six months and we just felt like it was really important to get that out there because we know it can help so many people. Meeting with Meninza was awesome because it confirmed a lot of the things we already thought he had going on. So like we knew with the liver that he had liver problems just because of his jaundice and his cradle cap and some of the other stuff going on. But then we also had a suspicion that he had strep and so when we met with Meninza, she confirmed both those things that yeah, yeah he's got liver stuff going on and yeah he's got strep she going said on. he's got a lot of strep going on and some of you might that are not familiar with medical media might be freaking out thinking oh my gosh she has strep like get him on some antibiotics but the thing is there's like I think like over 50 strep strands and it's not always like strep throat strep causes so many other things so we will we will do a video yep. specific to strep and the tools that she um, gave us to help him with that. Um, but this video specifically will just be about celery juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want it to be too long and to go into too much detail. Yeah, so let's talk about celery juice because she okay. told us how much to she give said, him. Yeah, so. and she said like this is like the most important thing for him. Yeah, so all of you wondering out there like is it okay to give celery juice to a baby under six months? Totally. Yeah. And what she said was that uh, starting at uh, 10 weeks? Well, yeah, he was 10 weeks old. So at 10 weeks old, she started him on five drops. Five drops, which is like 1 16th of a teaspoon. And then the following week, yeah. which was week 11, she said to up that to 10 drops. Mm -hmm which is like one eighth of a teaspoon and then add five drops every week and um until yeah and then she said four to five six months old get him to one ounce yeah so she said four to five months you want him at one ounce yeah. which is under what anthony says anthony says you know by six months you can do the one ounce. you want the one ounce so and that again this is specifically for for him, yeah. For him, but you can, you know, use this as a guide and knowing that you can, you know, feel out what's good for your baby. Yeah, yeah. We're not telling you this is what you need to do. <laughs> this is this is us just telling you what what was told for our baby. So, if you're interested, book an appointment with Meninza, yeah. and she will tell you exactly what the celery dosage amount would be for for your baby. So. Yeah. Um, but and she so she has one-on-one -on -one calls but then she also has group calls and those are really great too and then she also has a monthly membership where you can ask questions and get assistance there so if she's booked out really far you might want to check out the membership and get some immediate help with with her there yeah and you can always ask us questions too totally you know we're yeah. always around so we started off the drops and we were using the syringe. You know, Meninza had suggested using the syringe as well. And, uh, you know, he <laughs> just doesn't love the taste. No. He, you know, like, just didn't love it. There was some crying. And, you know, we were worried about the adrenaline that was created by the crying. Uh, we connected with Meninza on that and she just she said you know get what you can in him because it's really gonna be it's like crucial for his healing yep. to get it 
the celery juice in him. So we tried so many things, like we tried it together, we've tried it separate, we try to make it a fun experience. We jump around, and yeah. we sing, Yay. we dance, and we try to you get know. him to take it. But and <laughs> some days like he's cool and just kind of cries at the end. Some days he's just not having it at all. But now he's six months old, and you know he's getting he's getting there. Yeah. Now for our next baby. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We were talking about, well, you know, we started our son on at like seven weeks on celery juice, yeah. but we were like, we could totally start him we like was, week one. We, we could have given him yeah. one drop and then we could have upped the yeah. drops from from there. And, and that's... There, there's stuff, the, the issue is their stomachs are so small, you don't want them to fill up on things other than the milk, the milk yeah. right? But a few drops is not going to do any harm and it's going to be a little bit of a medicine medicinal medicine for them yeah so you know we would we would easily done like one drop week one and then week two Kinda maybe upped it for maybe there. upped it a yeah. drop you know just see how he responds to it um so yeah i mean that's just good to know like we we started him a little late but you know we seven weeks is still pretty good yeah but we could <laughs> week one you know we could have done it. Yeah. So. so another thing we tried that Meninza suggested was mixing the celery with some apple juice and then slowly take the apple juice away to then where you just have the celery juice. So that's something we also tried to see if he would tolerate it better. But no, he still just wasn't into it. So then we... Well, he was smacking his lips like, ooh, sweet. Mm -hmm. At okay. the first but, the first day. Yeah, but... And then after... Same, it was the same deal, you know, he'd cry with yeah. even the apple juice. So, so that's we, something you could try if you're having an issue, but we were like, okay, we're just giving you the straight stuff if you're going to fight us on yeah, both. Yeah, he's going to cry on both, <laughs> give him the good stuff. So, yeah, that's what we did. All right, so he's now six and a half months old, almost seven months, <laughs> and he's been stuck at two teaspoons for a while just because... Which is how many ounces? That's a third of an ounce. Third of an ounce. Yeah. So yeah, we need to give him three of those. Yeah. So <laughs> once we, I mean, it's like uh, an achievement once we get the one syringe in him. So we just have not upped it from there. But at this point, he's really interested in watching us and what we're drinking. So you know, we've kind of like given him a little sip. Um, of our glasses but very soon we're going to transition him into maybe his own little sippy cup or not a sippy cup but just a cup that he can start sipping it from yep and he's been kind of holding the syringe too so you know i feel like that transition is appropriate yeah so we'll see <laughs> <laughs> but you know you might run into the same issue that's why we we're sharing this because you know celery juice for even adults you know, we hear it all the time from adults saying, yeah. oh, I don't like the change. They're an adult. <laughs> this is a baby, you know. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, see what you can do with your baby. So we hope you guys found this information helpful. We felt like this was a really important topic to get out there. Um, we do get the questions a lot like, you know, what, when did you start your boy on celery juice? And how much can I give my baby? And all the things because um, it's not in the medical medium book so we felt like it was just really really important to get out there and have this information handy yeah so hopefully you use this as a guide hopefully you find it helpful we will see you guys on the next video see ya bye